so you were doing like lingerie and bikini stuff. Mm -hmm. So when did you decide to start doing nudes? So that's, I started doing nudes maybe three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been modeling for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I always knew like that, that I wanted to do Playboy. Mm -hmm. um, I always knew that I wanted to do that, but I, I was a little hesitant in the beginning because I wasn't sure, uh, you know, just, I felt like it would put me into a different category of, mm -hmm. of modeling. And I wasn't sure like how people were gonna view me after that. Mm -hmm. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna like shame myself. Um, but when I first did it, that was about three years ago, and it was actually started on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I started topless, and then I started doing full nude, and it, then um, it feels like a safe place to start because it's behind yeah, a paywall. Yeah, you're talking to your fans too, and so it's, it's like your content. It's just, you own it. You control everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was that was how I started was on OnlyFans, and then after I was like, you know, topless, uh, topless, and doing nudes on OnlyFans, then I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do Playboy. Let's mm -hmm. do another Playboy. Okay, let's do Penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your first uh, like professional nude shoot like? Um, it was good. So my first one was for Playboy Mexico. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting with Playboy Mexico because they don't necessarily set the shoot up for you. You just have to send them a really good submission. Mm -hmm. So so my shoot was great because I was working with a photographer that I had worked with, again, for years. Mm -hmm. I, was, I knew him very well. I was very comfortable with him. Um, and yeah, he just, he t he's actually kind of the one who convinced me to do it. Because this is like when OnlyFans first came out. And mm -hmm. um, he was like, Corey, you know, like, let's submit to Playboy. Like, you know, I think you have a great look. And again, I don't think he was being creepy or anything. He's yeah. just like, dude, like you're hot. Let's do this. So, and I'm sure if you knew him well, then he yeah. must have known that you always had aspirations to do Playboy, right? Yeah, yeah, he knew. So it it wasn't one of those creepy situations where this guy's like, I just want to see you naked. Like he yeah. had shot for a Playboy many times. Um, and so yeah, it was almost like just two friends shooting together. We didn't know if uh, Playboy was going to accept it or not, um, but they did, and mm -hmm. yeah, it came out great. It was beautiful. <laughs> it's interesting how all of the different Playboy iterations work because mm -hmm. like playboy licenses its names out to it's like a franchise right uh -huh. and so there's like playboy mexico yep. there's playboy um czechoslovakia i mean I, I know a lot of these have died out so i don't even know what exists anymore and, yeah, and some of them are fake <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's another thing you have to be careful well for. so interesting that you say that and i want to hear more about that but i know that there are some Specifically, there was a couple out of Europe, and I can't remember exactly which ones they wore, and I don't want to like name the wrong one. Where you have to pay them mm -hmm. to have them run your set, right, right, right. And that's like which that's like a crazy. big one, which is crazy too, because I feel like most of these these are mostly the playboys based out of Europe. Mm -hmm. Most of them do that, mm -hmm. and then it's funny too because like you know I feel like a big part of like being in the magazine and everything is being able to find your prints. Mm -hmm. Like you know, for instance, Penthouse. I'm sure that there's prints and everything like mm -hmm. out here in the stands, but they don't do that. They just sell like maybe online on Magster. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's it's interesting. So it's not it's like a digital only a digital form. A digital form. Yeah. Yeah. If there's even a magazine set in there, who knows? Like yeah. if they even have like um, sponsors or brand deals or if there's anything in there besides your photos. <laughs> yeah, I know it's 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 hard too though, right? Because it's like the magazine industry has died, and I grew up shooting for magazines. Like that's what I used to do. So. I've watched the whole thing collapse. And, Isn't um, it sad? It is sad. It's sad and it takes the excitement away too because yeah. it's so different now. Yeah, it is because, I mean, Playboy doesn't put out a magazine anymore. Like Playboy, yeah, Playboy. I know. Um, and actually it was interesting. I had a meeting with Moose from Penthouse yesterday about something else. Uh -huh. And he brought one of the Penthouse magazines, not yours because yours isn't in print yet. But um, they, you know, they don't do ads on theirs. There's no ads. On uh, Playboy. No, for Penthouse. Oh, okay. Their That's magazines have no ads. Huh. That's so I haven't, I haven't actually seen one. They're really nice. Recently. I think you're going to be really happy when you get yours. Yeah, I haven't they're, even seen the cover yet. I haven't yeah. seen the photos. Yeah. I saw like maybe three shots. So. Yeah, no, they look good. Yeah. Um, Yay. <laughs> but the, the paper is really nice mm -hmm. too. So like it's just like. Good quality. It's a good quality. And they sell them in like in Barnes and Nobles and at the airport and stuff oh, like nice. that. So you can Yay. find them like. They're one of the only. That. And then Hustler, I think, is the only other magazine that that's still out. Does it. And I don't yeah. think that they sell in stores anymore. They might be sub, um, subscription only. So, like, well, you got in, yeah. like, one of the last magazines. 
And who knows how much longer that's going to last for, too. I, I feel like it's dying out like Blockbuster, you know, yeah. or something. It so is. It really is. It really is. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.